Welcome to another X-Ray Gonzal video. Lately I have been trying to get the best video result out of my old gaming consoles. And people around me ask if it really makes a difference. So this time let's talk about the Nintendo GameCube. Usually you connect your GameCube with the Nintendo composite cable to your TV. But there is another way to get video on your screen. The Nintendo component cable. The cable was available for purchase exclusively in Nintendo's online store, and the cables were eventually discontinued by Nintendo due to what Nintendo claimed was a lack of consumer interest. Over time demand for the cables increased dramatically resulting in the cost of a typical set of used component cables commonly reaching 250% or more of the original suggested retail price for a new set from Nintendo's website when they were available. Luckily I got mine very cheap a few years ago. The component cable is only compatible with early models of the GameCube, as Nintendo removed the digital video port from the console. So let's compare them. The first footage is recorded with the composite cable. The second footage is recorded with the component cable. Dirk! It's Daphne! I can speak to you through the amulet! I might be able to help you find- Be sure to check the amulet if you've missed anything I've said! Please hurry! we 
Have a look with the component cable. Dirk! It's Daphne! I can speak to you through the amulet! I might be able to help you find me! Be sure to check the amulet if
So what do you think? Do you see any difference? And do you think it's worth to spend a lot of money on it? Please leave your comments and see you next time.